refer to when they talk about happiness has more to do with enthusiasm. And enthusiasm is an interesting word because it, it means it's entheos. It means to be inspired. Inspired is in spirit. It means to be imbued with the spirit. Well, enthusiastic is to be imbued with the spirit of God, interestingly enough, and we'll return to that. When do you experience the positive emotion that's associated with happiness? The answer is, not when you've attained a goal, but when you're pursuing one. So you're set up, your, your positive emotion is associated with movement forward. You could say that your positive emotion is the psychological equivalent of forward movement, just as your negative emotion is the psychological equivalent of freezing or retreating. Better now than I was when you saw that 22-year-old undeveloped kid running from Sunderland. I'm experienced now, professional. Jaws been broke, been lost, knocked down a couple times. Bad, been chopping trees. I done something new for this fight. I done wrestled with an alligator. That's right. I have wrestled with an alligator. I done tussled with a whale. I done handcuffed lightning, throw thunder in jail. That's bad. Only last week, I murdered a rock, injured a stone, hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean, I make medicine sick. Man, dude, man, fast. But I've been very fortunate that that hasn't happened, but the dumb shit that I've done or the bad mistakes that I've made, they've taught me. You know, you learn. Like, that's why failure is so important. Like, failing and fucking up and making mistakes very important you, that's how you learn like especially failing at something where you half-assed it and you just feel like a fucking loser like that just teaches you it teaches you to get your shit together well you have such a good ability to learn from those things some people i think kind of repeat you know it's just like it yes. gets repetitive for some people that's dangerous yeah it's dangerous to dwell on past mistakes because people sort of define themselves by the worst moments that they've ever had and if that's the case like some people are stuck in high school you know, they're, they're stuck in failures that they had like when they were first getting jobs and they always think that they're a loser and they, they don't like the feeling of failure so they keep low expectations so that they never have to feel that. Absolutely. That's it. Because if you had a God, you would know that you could cast your anxieties into pressing on them. Now, having faith is a big thing for me. Big thing. If I didn't have faith, all the obstacles that I would look at, well, let me give you an example. When I first started the show, I was like, I don't know how, but I'm gonna have this conversation with you. Now, fucking crazy i came off of impulsive some people might not even want to do anything with me because i was the laugh that kid yeah. but i manifested and i pushed and i encouraged myself yep. and i could have sat around like a pussy and be like oh no one's gonna give a fuck about me no one's gonna do this no one's gonna do that but if i can't care about myself if i can't push myself right. and if i can't encourage myself That's who right. the fuck's gonna come around and do that for me nobody's gonna care about you more than you nobody's nobody's, nobody's gonna wake up each morning and go you know what andrew tate only has 53 cars he needs a 54th car i'm gonna get up and i'm gonna work hard and buy him a car no no that's my job. It did your money make you happier? Or did it cause you more anxiety? Okay, that's a really interesting question, which we'll talk about, actually. But everything you said about depression is super true. And, and Robin Williams, his mistake is that he went to a therapist who confirmed his bias, confirmed he's depressed. They then sat there and talked about being depressed three times a week for two hours a day. Then they put him on mind-altering drugs to make him feel better. And after nine years of therapy, he jumped off a building. If I were to take mind-altering drugs and talk about being sad all day every day, I'd probably jump off a building too. So it's absolutely the wrong thing you can do. And I want to make a point here because when I talk about depression, people always defend it. Lazy, you know exactly what to do. Exactly what to do. Because even me, in my state of, I can't read or write, I knew exactly what to do. It just sucks doing it. It sucks to do it. It sucks to wake up every morning of your life and say, God, man, I'm, I'm not smart. So guess what I gotta do? I gotta, I gotta study the same shit that I got one of the highest scores in the nation on and do it again, do it again, do it again. It's not just there. It's not just there permanently for me. So yeah, it's all stick. It's all stick. The only carrot you have is like, Maybe, maybe, because whenever I take these tests that are real hard, in the back of my brain, it's like, good chance you're not gonna make it, Goggins. Come on. I mean, this is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I won. I know I won. I know I'm the better fighter. 
We fight 10 times, I'm gonna win 10 times. We fight 20 times, I'm gonna win 20 times. We fight 100 times, I'm gonna win 100 times. Manny Pacquiao, just he's not a better fighter than me. Nowhere around the board. Could you detect at any time in the fight that he was having a problem with his shoulder? Absolutely not. He, he, he was fast. Uh, his left hand was fast. His right hand was fast. And he was throwing them both fast and, and, and strong. But when it's all said and done, he was a beat fighter from round one. He knew it. Our job is to produce a house laugh, which is to get 80 to 85% of the room to laugh at any given moment. That's a house laugh. You're never gonna get 100%. If you get 85% of the room and there's 10,000 people out there, that's 8,500 people laughing. My job is to get those people to laughing every eight to 12 seconds for 90 straight minutes. That's the business of comedy. I must make a, the house laugh every eight to 12 seconds. If you're out there for 30 seconds, 45 seconds, a minute, ain't nobody laughing, your ass is dying.